Thanks so much for tuning in to Real Health. If you just joined us, vitamins are the micronutrients that the body needs in order to grow and function properly. There are 13 vitamins, of which some of these are fat-soluble and others are water-soluble. Today, we're putting the spotlight on vitamin B12, which is part of the vitamin B group and which supports many of the body's functions, but it is notoriously poorly absorbed in some people, which may cause a problem in the long run. In the Real Health Medicine Cabinet, we came across an ingenious product that makes vitamin B12 easily accessible and has increased absorption as well. So we have natural health practitioner Rory Jean-Jacques with us to chat about this important vitamin. And Rory, that's the thing with vitamins. You never know which forms are readily available, bioavailable, you know, what's the best way that they're absorbed. You made it easy for us. We're going to get to that in a short while. But why is vitamin B12 so important? So vitamin B12 is probably about 40% of people are v deficient in vitamin, really? vitamin B12. Um, it's one of these things that we always consider the energy vitamin. Yes. You know, when you're deficient yes. in it, you're very, very tired. It's so heavily involved in red blood cell production, DNA repair, heart health with homocysteine management, okay. um, energy production. Um, it's also very, very involved in your mood chemicals mm. and your outlook, as well as your sleep production chemicals, memory and concentration, as well as your nerve health. Wow. So if you're getting any sort of tingling in your feet or anything yeah, like that. Yeah, neuropathy as well. Neuropathy yes. is very, yeah. very much um, a deficiency in vitamin B12. Now, vitamin B12 is actually um, uh, called cobalamin. Yes, which, I could which, which, when I was which, studying, I could never which, get if that you've ever heard, <laughs> If you've ever heard of the element cobalt. Yes, the yes, blue color, right? That's it. Mm. So it's cobalt and it's bonded to various forms for absorption. So Now, you're talking about the forms of, of vitamin B12. Yeah. Normally, the form in injective is cyanocobalamin, which is a oh, cyanide okay. bonded one, okay. which is actually th synthetic. It's not identified to the body. Okay. So the body actually has to methylate it, which means it has to make it a body-ready form. And if that you're, your a body can you're a poor methylator? you're a poor methylator, you're going to have major problems. Okay. So Okay. Methylcobalamin is the optimal form. Okay? Okay. So there are multiple ways that we can get B12. Normally in terms of diet, clams are very, very high. Oh, wow. Liver, 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 liver We don't pate, eat organ meats organ anymore. Organ meats, kidney, mm. that type of stuff, muscles, okay. um, you know, red meat to an extent. But those are all the foods and it's normally the animal products. So you'll find vegans or vegetarians tend to have much, much lower vitamin B12 status. And they're ensuring um, that they're supplementing with B12. Most, yeah, most, they most, they should, most, yeah. most should, yeah. So it's normally, it's one of those things that you would want to test for on a blood test, okay? Normally with um, with uh, injections, painful injections that mm. we know about, mm. it's it, you normally need a script for that, mm. okay? But in other forms like sublingual and various forms of sprays and even with transdermal applications, you. You d you, it's not, you, you don't need a script per se. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's, so it's easier to get access to it. Any other people that would be suffering from deficiencies? Um, obviously, if you're on chronic medication, mm -hmm. um, you know, you find that uh, certain drugs would lead to medicine-induced deficiency of vitamin B12. Absolutely. B12 is, is a very, very common deficiency. Yeah. And a lot of the time when people are tired, the first thing that we test is B B12, folic acid, iron, all the blood building Is that nutrients. just a blood test? Normal blood Normal test? blood test. Okay. Yeah, live blood analysis does pick it up, but, okay. but, a, tr but a traditional blood test would, would be uh, um, a preferable. Um, but in terms of, of, of medications or, you know, people that are more susceptible, you'll find senior people with low stomach acid, okay. they struggle to absorb it. Okay. You'll find people that are on um, prescription antacids, mm. PPI inhibitors that yes. lower stomach acid. You lower your stomach acid, you lower your absorption. Okay. Yeah. People that and are that's on across the board, other vitamins and minerals all as well. All of them, all yeah. of them. B12 is one of the specifics, but also um, people that are, are metformin, yes. the most popular drug for, for, for diabetes. Otherwise known diabetes. as glucophage locally glucophage, as well, right? Glucophage, correct, yeah. correct. Yeah. Um, and people with gastric issues, okay. celiac, gastritis, Crohn's, um, and, you know, people in, in, in high stress, high demand um, um, environments mm. tend to use up their B12 quite rapidly because mm. it's very heavily involved in stress management and things like that. So when it comes to transdermal mm. absorption, I've seen some studies that say, you know, we don't have enough research on transdermal. Mm. Others that say it actually just makes sense. 60% of what we put on our skin is absorbed into the bloodstream. 100%. Is it with specific vitamins and minerals that transdermal would be great and then with others perhaps not? How does that work? So, so they've, they've done research with, with women that use large amounts of makeup and personal care products on yeah. their system and they cut that out for two weeks and they watched in their urine analysis that, that their chemical levels dropped by almost 60 to 70 percent. So what we are putting wow. on our skin, our body is absorbing. Yes. So if we want to lower our toxic load, that's one thing that we need to do. But when it comes to transdermal vitamins, it depends on the size and the amount that you can put in a patch. Okay. But if you look at 
uh, pharmaceutical applications for transdermal they've developed it with nicotine patches mm. with hormonal yes, patches and they've been with, around with, for with years with anti-nausea yeah. and you know vertigo based patches with the scopolamine and things like that yeah. so 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 the technology has been there mm. and there, there there have been a lot of companies which have looked at the transdermal application of vitamin d vitamin b12 i mean vitamin d because it's produced in the skin vitamin b12 is is a very very small molecule but it also depends on on the way it's de uh, uh, delivered within the patch so a lot of the patches have actually got permeability enhancers okay, and, and okay. Uh, it w you know um, the, a lot of the patches that we we looked at and we tested we tested for well over a year and a half wow. in practice and we found that with with people that were deficient we got consistently good feedback on it and a lot of the people that that come into our, our practices or into our retail shops we find that they say they use the sublingual they use the injections they use the spray but they find that they get very very good results with the transdermal and in some cases I get people to combine the two mm. if they've got quite a severe uh, deficiency that they get the best of both worlds. Okay, so we discussed the various um, forms and applications and in the Real Health Medicine Cabinet we've been looking for um, a transdermal patch in fact, we found a transdermal patch uh, for you and this is, as Rory mentioned, a much better way of absorbing vitamin B12. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the product but it's known as vitamin B12 energy patch. We spoke about the lack of energy that you may be experiencing. What sets this apart? And guys, I'm going to show you, I actually have it on. So if you're scared about putting patches on your body which some people have noted then don't worry it's tiny uh, you can't even see it in fact but what sets it apart so so there are many ways to take vitamin b12 yeah uh, there's an injection there's transdermal and things uh, you know there's uh, uh, even sprays the, the patches we created because we were, we were finding in practice that even with injections or sublingual and different forms like that yeah. we weren't finding b12 levels were increasing so we started looking for alternative ways and we started saying, what about the skin so uh, we, we started developing various types of transdermal applications and permeability enhancers to get it through the skin. Yes. Eventually we started seeing great improvements. We started testing it with our clients and we started getting phenomenal results. Mm. So people notice the improvements in their energy levels. Mm. So the advantage of using a patch is it has a much slower release yes. into the system. So you don't get dosage jump dumping yeah. that's just released in one injection and your body has to deal with all of it yeah. you know and well, you feel great for a short period of time and then you've got to keep on going for the injection exactly exactly yeah. so a much much slower release so so that's a great benefit okay. of the patch okay um, and you know only need to put the patch on and every two days you need to do another one so a lot of the challenges with sublinguals you need to put them under the absorption isn't so great so a lot of it goes down then we're not getting the, the good absorption the so sprays you also so spray so there is the a spray mouth, right? there yeah. is a spray and to spray into the mouth so that also is an absorption, but sometimes the dosaging levels are a little bit low. Okay. So dose is quite important yes, when it comes to, obviously, you yeah. know, it also sometimes the synergy of what is combined with. So this patch um, is combined with methyl, methyl folate. Mm -hmm. So it's a methylated form of folate, which is the optimal form, body ready form. So a lot of, uh, specifically the injections is in a synthetic form that your body doesn't know. Yeah. You know, it, yeah. uh, the body has to unhinge the cyanide yeah. off it. And then it has to already use methyl groups. So it's more work for, for, for the for body. Yeah. yeah. It's more energy for the system so 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 and a lot of the research is far superior with methylcobalamin and its ability to improve deficiencies and your energy levels and things like that. Okay, so um, you do mention, Anya, that it is the most effective form of absorption. Every two days you've got to change the patch and how many patches are available? So they add patches in there? Okay. So, so, so it's about sort of, you know, depending on how a person feels. Some people use the patch every day, yeah. some every second day, some every third day. Kay. So anywhere from a two to three weeks supply. And how, would you sort of start using this indefinitely or would you go through periods where you wouldn't need the patch anymore? So, you, so your body can store vitamin B12 yeah. in the liver. Yeah. So, 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 so normally if you're feeling quite depleted and, and you have been, you have you know, you found that mm. your B12 levels are low, you know, it's something that you could use for a period of time and people notice great improvements. We've had consistently good feedback. Yeah. I mean, we we, we abs constantly amazed at how well yeah. people feel. And as you mentioned earlier, for this form of vitamin B12, you don't need a prescription. So yes. uh, who shouldn't be using it? Are there any contraindications? There are no major contraindications okay. for, 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 for vitamin B12 Pregnancy? specifically. Um, it's fine in pregnancy. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Especially for moms that are feeling a bit jaded and yeah, you know sort you of know, fatigued high, high and demands, yeah. high, high demands. High yeah. demands when you when you're feeding too. Yeah. Exactly. You know? um, so so it's 
it's, it's, it's one of those things where people have a look and they say, well, yeah, my energy is a bit low. And they, yes. They try and they say, well, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm feeling much, much better. You know, it'd be good to be com combine it with a B complex, okay? Because okay? your Bs all work together like a symphony to yes. produce your energy. Yes. So that's important. Yeah, so that's the one thing about also just supplementing in isolation. And mm. obviously you can get it at major health stores, Ye pharmacies. Yes, so all major health, health, health shops, pharmacies, as well as online at neogenhealth.com. Fantastic, neogenhealth.com. So I've got one on, guys. Um, let's just, it's hidden by my hair, which is <laughs> fantastic. But, you know, even if your hair was down, yeah. let's see if the camera guys can pick up on it. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a natural nude so, so, so the skin type is, of color. Yeah, the, sk the skin is thinnest behind the ear. You actually can't you know? even feel it. Once you put it on, you can't it, feel it, it. it. It's water resistant. You can bath with it. You, you can, can shower, shower with it. You can swim with it. Okay. Um, you know, a lot of people think, oh, is that like a stop smoking patch? Yeah. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> do Don't judge. <laughs> you do get comments, but you can also put it on the on, on the inner collarbone. Okay, so we yo. Or, or under the arm. Okay, the under the arm. If you, if you don't really want to put it up Inner there collarbone there. or yeah. behind the ear. And if you have family members or friends who are on any of those um, hypoglycemic medications, please make sure they have it because we're finding that many people are complaining when they're on uh, uh, prescription medication, particularly to control blood sugar or insulin levels, that they're saying that they didn't know they should be on a vitamin B12 supplement. This is a great form that they can be on as well. Definitely. Okay, well, Definitely. thanks so much for coming to chat it's to a us. Pleasure. We love having Rory on the show. <laughs>